In this video we're going to take a look at exporting clip definitions which is another facility you can find in the clip list. Okay so the first thing I'm going to do is define a clip. All right so I'm going to use uh, tab to transient to do that in this drum part. This snare drum is something I want to take out uh, just as a simple clip. So I'm going to use shift tab to select it and then command E to separate and I'm going to use the grabber to double click and name it, I'll call it new snare. Okay, so at the moment that's simply a clip, it's listed in the clip list there, no new audio file has been created, and that clip information is stored in the session. Um, now if I want to bring that clip into another session, I'd need to export that clip as a clip definition. So we'll do that from the clip list menu, export clip definition, shift command y um, so that's telling me what it's about to do click export and now that's available for other sessions to import so let's import it to another session okay so i'm going to go to uh, this other session i've got here called new session now i'm not going to save that original session so here's the new session i'm going to use shift command i to import the audio file um, which contains that clip definition. So here's the parent audio file. You can see down here that this file um, has several clip definitions that have been exported. And there's the one I just made, new snare. It's called newsnare.l because the parent audio file is the left-hand side of a split stereo file. So I'll need to add both the .l version and if I select the dot r audio file you'll see the dot r um, clip definition there we can add that also and then i can click done and they'll end up uh, let's choose clip list and there's the clip uh, listed in the clip list now let's bring that into the session okay let's just uh, zoom in on it a bit Make nice big track height. There we go. So there's the snare. All right, that's the snare that I uh, exported as a clip. It's not an audio file. It's still a clip. So this is uh, a bit of a weird one um, because if you choose, say, the trim tool and trim, um, it reveals the rest of the audio file um, underneath as it would do in the original session. So that's a way of exporting clip definitions from one session and importing them to another.